right? Absolutely. So you might have seen shows on the U of M Centennial showboat, but we guarantee you have never seen anything quite like this one. For the first time ever, there's an exhibit on board the boat docked at Harriet Island in St. Paul. M.A. Roscoe takes us to Treasures of Napoleon, where the French emperor comes to life through his belongings. Napoleon, he's kind of like Cher. You only need one name to know who he is. The only emperor of France and probably one of the most famous rulers of all time. More than 200 artifacts belonging to him here at the Centennial Showboat on the Mississippi River. And I'm joined by Will Peterson. Um, this is perhaps one of the most iconic objects that are ever associated with Napoleon. Absolutely. This is his famous bicorner hat. Uh, it was a stylish hat during the time the British wore them, the French wore them. Uh, and the traditional way to wear it was front to back, but Napoleon, being who he was, had to put his own twist on it. So he would turn it sideways so his enemies on the battlefield could see him coming and know exactly who they were dealing with. So he was a shorter gentleman, ju judging from his army cot, but he was not short on ego. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's probably one of the, the biggest misconceptions about Napoleon. Uh, it was a British propaganda machine that made him seem as short as everybody thinks he was. Turns out he was between 5'6 and 5'7, which was actually above average height for Europe at that time. And speaking of his army cot, is it true that Napoleon invented glamping? <laughs> he may have, yeah, uh, I mean, absolutely. judging, this is pretty sweet. Right, right, yeah, not a bad way to, uh, you know, sleep when you're on military campaign. So, yeah, this is his original military campaign bed. The whole thing would fold down into this box. This is all original, and it's totally portable. But before Napoleon could be out expanding France's empire, he had to be coronated. That's right, yeah. He crowned himself the emperor <laughs> of France. Pretty pretty gutsy. <laughs> yeah. So in a coup d'etat, he took over, and, and there was a bit of a revolution. He became the emperor of France. And these are the actual pieces at his coronation. So he knelt on this cushion, which uh, has the symbol of the bee, his personal emblem. Um, and then Pope Pius II, who is sketched right there, held this sword and touched his shoulders to make him the emperor of France. Well, there are more than 200 artifacts here on the Centennial Showboat, and that's just 10% of the collection owned by a gentleman by the name of Pierre-Jean Chalençon. He lives in Paris. Um, so how did he become so fascinated with this guy right here? Yeah, it's a great question. He it started very early on for him. So at eight years old, his dad gave him a coloring book with Napoleon in it. And he thought, oh, it's just like Superman or Batman. It's another, you know, action figure. And his dad said, no, this was a real man who really lived. So he took him to the museum. You know, they live in Paris. There are lots of museums. And Pierre Jean saw all of Napoleon's, you know, stuff about Napoleon, all the history, and just it just clicked for him. So at age 12, he sold his motor scooter and bought a handwritten letter by Napoleon. And he's 45 now. And over those decades, his collection grew from letters and documents to Art, sculpture, furniture, clothing, everything you see here. Well, be sure to check it out. Treasures of Napoleon here.